Uh, so I want to show my Scourge build. Um, I made a couple of changes. Uh, the most obvious one is I dropped Vile Passion and took Parfait Bloom. And I also uh, use the Mastery Stun Threshold is based on 50% of your energy shield instead of life. Then on top of that I took Soul of the Branking just because I need more stun mitigation. Um, the reason why I did that is because uh, you, you, you cannot... Uh, the, the way I played Cold Thought uh, without Profane Bloom is I would cast Cold Snap and my main skill would be Cold Snap for clearing and uh, the enemies will die from the chilling area. In terms of clear speed Profane Bloom it doesn't really change your clear speed, it changes the way you play the build because now you can just shield charge into a pack and just one mob needs to die and they will explode. Uh, previously you couldn't really do that. Um, and that's an issue because whenever you open the Scourge mechanic, all the monsters will come charging at you and they'll come also from behind, not just from front. So that's an issue because you cannot really afford that. So I had to give up on Vile Bastion and take Profane Bloom. And on top of that, my build was very squishy just because the mobs, uh, well, there were so many mobs hitting me and... Uh, I had to do something about that. So one obvious thing that I did was put in people with my blasphemy and also try to get 20% quality on your blasphemy. Then I bought a shield with chance percent to block. I mean chance to block. Why I did that is because I chose this shield mastery with chance to block attack damage. Uh, so that gives me 7% chance to block attack damage. Then on my amulet I anointed deflection which is right here, which gives me um, endurance charge and chance to gain uh, and 5% uh, chance to block attack. So, with that, I have 48% uh, chance to block attack damage. But I also use uh, Romy's Concoction, so that gives me 60% and 75% chance to block spell damage. Uh, one mistake that I did in the previous build, I assumed that Tempest Shield is going to be on Aura. It's not on Aura, it, it's a skill which reserves mana. So this uh, increased effect, it does not affect my Tempest Shield. So my Tempest Shield still gives me just 25% chance to block spell damage. I'm still using it because it's 25% and it also gives... Um, what is it called? It gives immunity to shock, which is very nice. Um, so I took this path with more spell block here. Um, then uh, I gave up on this point right here just because I have a Robin's Concoction. Here I have uh, Corrupted Blood Cannot Be Inflicted on You. Um, as you can see, I don't have any jewel, I don't have any cluster jewel, only masteries in the passive tree here. So that's nice because you save a lot of points. I still miss one point here to take damage over time multiplier if you have killed recently. But it's whatever. Um, other than that, I mean, and here, Curse Mastery. This is something that I changed. I took enemies you curse are hindered with 15% movement speed. Um, but other than that, the build is the same. Um, one thing is I gave up on Sigil of Power and I picked uh, Immortal Call, but I'm not sure if Immortal Call is the right choice here. Uh, maybe I can I should change it to uh, Steel Skin, but for now I keep Immortal Call. I'm not sure which is the right choice here uh, because I don't have a lot of strength. I only have 100 strength, so Steel Skin would give me around 600 physical damage mitigation and. Uh, strength, it's very it's very scarce on this build, it's very difficult to get strength and I don't want to waste points for strength, but maybe I would have to, maybe I will have to get to uh, to take this uh, strength node right here and probably get utmost intellect and uh, get 5 strength for allocated mastery, just so that I can fit uh... if I do that that would give me around uh first of all it give me a lot of spell damage uh because i have this point right here and it will also give me increased mana and uh maximum energy shield um 
but it will also give me around uh, I guess 60 uh, I'm not sure how many masteries I have but around 60 strength so if I do that if I go here and take that I can pick steel skin and give up on immortal call um, I don't have fingers of frost maybe maybe fingers of frost are good but I'm not sure I don't have any cluster and I don't plan on using any cluster very important here I gave up on increased evasion while I have energy shield uh, maybe I need to take it but for now I don't have it I, I, I don't think I'm going to use it anymore because I don't have any energy sh any, any evasion on my gear only for the fr from the flask so I'm already running low on points because I also can take this node right here with faster start of energy shield recharge um, so yeah that's the next question is do I go here uh, and take strength and put steel skin level 20 or do I keep immortal call? Um, Gemlings. I have increased area of effect, immortal call, and frost shield. Uh, frost shield is only level 6 because I just bought it uh, with 23% quality. It's going to be level 20 when I level it up. Clarity on my answer ring. I have punishment here. I replaced the despair with punishment just because punishment uh, makes the enemies take more uh, damage when. Uh, when they are uh, low life and low life means under 50% because they changed it um, I have frost bomb with tempest shield and frostbite um, don't put any auras in here I mean tempest shield is not an, it doesn't have the AOE tag so it is not affected by concentrated effect but basically uh, if you have any aura in here it will uh, reserve more mana um, Frostbite, Frostbomb. I have Awakened uh, Blasphemy with Enfeeble. Try to get 20% quality on your Blasphemy. Discipline. Um, here I have Shield Charge Faster Attacks, Fire Dash, and Arcane Surge. Uh, double 5 Link, Creeping Frost, uh, Elemental Focus, Control Distraction, Swift Affliction, Hypothermia, and Vortex. Um, the Flasks, Jade Flask, um, Taste of Hate. Runes Concoction, if you don't have Onslaught on Kill on your boots, replace Taste of Hate with uh, Silver Flask because uh, Onslaught is very good. Um, Jade Flask here, have immunity to bleeding and corrupting blood, increased evasion and increased armor during Flask effect. So what that gives me is around uh, 2000 armor, 6000, uh, 3000 uh, evasion. Uh, maybe I need to get uh, movement speed on my quick silver flask. And I still think getting uh, unaffected by bleeding is good here on malevolence because I'm still using malevolence. I'm still using malevolence. I'm still using elemental weakness for bosses. So basically, when I'm doing bosses, I drop this awaken blasphemy. And uh, I drop in feeble, so and I put malevolence and uh, elemental weakness, and I also put control destruction in place of uh, faster casting here. So when bossing, I still have triple curses. I still have uh, all the damage curses, but for mapping, I don't have them. I don't have malevolence, and the reason why I think I still think this is good uh, is because when I'm doing feared, and when I'm doing a theory. Um, and any high level boss that can apply bleeding to me it's very it's very hard for me to get rid of bleeding uh, just from flask because I'm unconsciously pressing them so I still think it's worth spending two points to get unaffected by bleeding while affected by malevolence but this is just for bosses um, let's sh show you a map uh, Kind of give you an example of um, how well how this build works. I don't really have any problems with the build uh, right now. I used to have a lot of problems because the scourge was so deadly, and I needed to get enfeeble and a lot of chance to block because I don't have armor. I don't really have evasion. They don't really do anything um, against uh, the bosses uh, against monsters in uh, high level maps. So um, let's let's just get a map and show you real quick how the build performs. Um, the 
one thing is you don't really want to run uh, less armor and 40% of chance to block. I really don't want to run them. This is picked. Okay, that works. I'm not going to do the boss in this map just because I I really hate the boss in this map. But I mean I could try to I think I might die because the bosses here in this map are very deadly. As you can see, those mobs right there, if I didn't have Proflame Bloom, I would be dead. Proflame Bloom is good against Scourge because they spawn right or they spawn right on top of you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And uh, we don't have that much burst on my on our cold snap. So that's the way I mean uh, reason why. Um, as far as leveling, I leveled until the red maps, 12, uh, ma maps start 12 and 13, that's when I swapped, um, I could have swapped earlier but I didn't, I was just lazy, I think it was better if I swapped earlier, but I could do maps to uh, tier 12 very quick, very, very fine, I don't have much issues at all, um, yeah I guess Profound Bloom is really broken this league. Uh, again, it changes the way. It doesn't really change your player speed. It changes uh, the way you play the build because now you can just shield charge into a pack, whereas previously you couldn't. So so this is what I'm talking. The monsters spawn right on on top of you, and if you don't really shield charge or run away from them to a safe spot, they will just kill you because they are right on top of you. So, that's something you really need to be careful, especially when you are leveling with this build and you are using the Spell Slinger. Um, because Spell Slinger doesn't really like to be inside of a pack of mobs. Shell charge, you don't have to keep it uh, to level it up. You can just keep it level one. It's better if you level it up and you have the strength, but don't bother it because the attack speed will not scale with level anymore. Only a bit of movement speed, but it's not that massive. I guess it's like 10% more movement speed.
much clatter. These bosses, they are very deadly. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You cannot read to this map, it's so fucked up. I'm gonna go back and check for uh, for the ritual because I didn't finish it, but yeah, this, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done this map. I don't know, I guess now I cannot. I have to kill it. Oh, I got lucky here. Too much clutter. But fuck this map, dude. This Ready map is so fucking dangerous. Four. At least I got the completion. I don't have flasks, I'm very slow, but that's, I need more mana. that's part that's because I don't have a lot of movement speed and the attack speed on occultist. So And uh, I think I forgot to say I'm not I'm no longer using pain because I don't have slots and I have too many strength requirements. Too much clutter. Thank you. 